What's going on everybody? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more double battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, you guys know the deal. If you're enjoying the content, you better show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support on these videos has been amazing. We're pushing 500 subs, so let's get after it. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with this Gengar's team in doubles, which is crazy because Gengar is a single team Pokemon. Like, Doubles is such a hard team to make around him, but my boy Nick Morale actually did this team, and this team actually works out awesome. Link to his socials will be in the description below. You definitely better go check him out. He's an awesome team builder and an even better competitive player. So, guys, rocking in the front spot, you can see this Gengar with the air balloon. Then we got the Draco Fish with that Chewy Scarf so he can outspeed Pokemon, use his fish as friend to do double damage. Then we got the Light Clay Grimstone, which I love. Rocking T-Wave on him, and he has the screens to set up the light screens and the reflected help our team actually soak up some pins then we got this assault vest rotom which i actually love on this team i actually love this assault vest rotom on this team he's an absolute beast then we got lucario with the choice band can do more damage with the choice band but we have to choice him to one move then we got the clefable like we showed off in the last video a little bit but she's gonna be like a main part of this team because gengar is a glass cannon gengar cannot do too much without that clefable we're gonna need that clefable and that gengar side by side in order to do work but let me show you guys these moves before we actually move along here. Gengar is actually rocking Dark Pulse, Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, and Nasty Plot. So the reason we want to have that Clefable with this Gengar is because, like I said, he's a glass cannon. He can't take too many hits. And that Clefable is rocking Follow Me. So we can follow me. We can actually set up a Nasty Plot, boost our special attack, and then go to town with this Gengar. Next up, we're actually rocking this. Hold up. Hold up. What, what, what is going on here? We do not want to put a TM in here. This is what we want to do. We're rocking out with this Draco Fish. Rocking Crunch, Fishes Ren, Ice Fang, and Dragon Rush. Has a nice versatile move set, but we're basically going to be probably using them for that Fishes Ren here with that Choice Scarf so it can do double damage. Then we got my boy Grimstar with that Light Clay. He has Power Whip. Whip out some water Pokemon and some ground Pokemon with that reflect light screen to set up the screens, deal less damage to us. And that T Wave, he's actually his ability is Prankster, so he, he gets move priority when he's using a status move, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Then we got my boy Rotom Pizza Oven, dude. Rocking Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, Volt Switch, and Overheat, dude. Overheat can do some work, and he is Assault Vested, so he can soak up some special attacks. Then we got my boy Lucario, who I'm actually very excited to use. I'm very excited to use Lucario and Gengar in this team. Very cool Pokemon. This thing's rocking Meteor Match, Coast Comet, Brick Break to break any screens and all that. And Bullet Punch to get that first move priority. He is Choice Bandit, so he'll, we'll, we will be Choice on a move in order to get some extra damage with it. Following up in the final spot, which is our Gengar's best friend on this team, is this Clefable. Rocking after you, life do in order to heal up the team. Follow me in order to distract it the opponent's team and Moonblast to deal some damage but guys if you'd like to use this team let me know because maybe i can make a rental code for it so if we get enough comments saying so i will definitely make a rental code on this also guys let me know for question of the day what is your favorite gen 1 pokemon for me i really like gengar and starmie they're like my two favorite pokemon in gen 1 but without further ado let's hop into these battles let's get it guys it is time to show off this gengar double team like i said in the beginning gengar is not a double team pokemon he is a single team so it took a lot of work for me and nick to kind of build this but it is an awesome team and i can't wait to show it off this guy's rocking a sylveon a rotom wash whimsicott sableye grim snarl and that mudstale and that mudstale who are we gonna rock out with here i feel like the what's it called would be nice i know i know grim snarl is definitely coming in the front but do we bring fish fish could potentially do some work here or do we go with Rotom? Rotom could do some work here also. Because he has a lot of physical attackers. But I definitely want to bring in that Gengar and Fable in the back end. Because they are just a nice little combo to work together with. But do we go with Fish? Do we go with the Fish? I might want to go with Fish. I said we go with Fish. Let's go Grimmsnarl into Fishy Poo. And then we go Gengar and Clefable. Or do we go Rotom instead of what's it called? Hmm. Rotom could do good. Let's go with Rotom instead. I really do like Rotom. We're going to enter Rotom. Oh, well, we got to disregard you. Then we're going to disregard you. Then we're going to disregard you. We have 20 seconds left to do this, but we're chilling. We're chilling. You should be able to just swap out easier like that. But there we go. Here's our team of Rocket Grimstrong and Rotom in the front spot. But guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, you guys know the deal. Head and link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Hit that follow button, turn on those notifications, and come hang out with me. But let's go. Let's rock out here. Who is he gonna roll out with? But what's called actually counters his team hard. So lucky he wasn't, he didn't have it on his team. The Duraludon counters his team so hard. He's gonna go out into that Whimsicott. I thought he was gonna out Sylveon. Whimsicott and that Mudstail. Whimsicott and the Mudstail. So we're gonna set up this little bit of uh, Reflect. 
a little bit of reflect action or do we just go into a power whip let's set up this reflect right off the bat or we can go for a t wave on this uh mudsdale we go into a t wave on this mudsdale then we could potentially just go into an overheat here and volt switch out but i don't really want to i said we just go for a dark pulse mm. do we want to go for a dark pulse potentially have this thing flinch i can see potentially dynamaxing we can just go for an overheat we could just go for an overheat here and yeah, we're just gonna go for an overheat right off the bat here. And then we can always Volt Switch out. We're gonna go after Swim Sky here. I see him Dynamax in that, uh, what's it called? Yeah, that Mudsdale's gonna come out with a Dynamax. We're gonna throw a T-Wave on him. And then we need to get some Power Whips on him. I was gonna Dynamax and just go after that thing. I was just gonna Dynamax and go after that thing. But he's gonna start start off with this. He's gonna boost himself with his Tailwind. I see him potentially doing some work. He's probably gonna go for a Max Quake on one of my Pokemons. Probably my, what's it called? Probably my Rotom here. But we're gonna try, we should outspeed him. We should outspeed him. The T-Wave comes out here. Doesn't affect him. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. And he's going to go for a beat up. He'll go for a beat up and his stamina is going to boost. His defense is going to go through the roof here. going to go through the roof here. Wow. Dude, like 1 HP. That's a crazy move. That's a crazy move. Wow, dude. I should have known that the T-Wave doesn't affect him. I should have just set up the reflect or something. But geez, this guy's just going to eat up here. Keep going. Okay, okay. What else you going to do? Come on, buddy. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Come on, just, just, just boost it real quick. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting. Right, let's see what he's going to go with here. He's going to get hit four times. Boost his defense through the roof here. We're going to go for an overheat here and possibly just take out the Swim Scott unless it's Focus Ash here. Let's see. It is Focus Ash. That's fine. That's fine. We can both switch out and take it out after this and go into my uh, my Fable. We can start setting up some screens and stuff. Let's see what's going to happen here. So the Max Quake's going to come out here. Look at that little backwards kick. Look at that backwards kick. That's beaut. It's a beaut. Right, Grip Snarl eats it up fine. A Grip Snarl eats it up fine. I'm not too worried here. I'm not too worried here, like I said. We're going to Volt Switch out, and we're going to set up this uh, Reflect here. Let's get this Reflect rolling, and then we can uh, Volt Switch out of here and get our stats back to normal. Like, like I said, we are chilling here. We are chilling here. I'm not too worried, considering we're rocking physical attack, or not physical attackers. We're rocking, what's it called? Special attackers, and we're going to waste two turns right here with his Dynamaxes. He's going to go Tailwind. Can my Grimstarl still outspeed this Mudsdale? That would be beautiful. Come on, show it, Grimstarl. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Grimstarl. Grimstarl will outspeed. We'll get this Reflect up and maybe be able to get up a hit here. We'll see. We'll see. But still, we are like Clay. That will be eight turns. And we'll Volt Switch out, take out this Whimsicott here, and roll in with my Fable. We'll roll in with my Fable here. We can always go for a Follow Me with the Fable. Or we can just go for a Life Do. Life Do would be the smart play just to heal up. Let's go into the Fable. But we have that Fable and the Gengar still in the back. We still have that Gengar in the back, who is possibly going to be one of my Dynamaxes, or I could Dynamax at Rotom. They're both very viable options. He's going to go for his Max Quake. Back on my, what's it called? My Grimstarl. Does it take him out? Does it take him out? Oh, he does. Maybe I thought that Reflect could maybe help us survive. But we're chilling. We're chilling. That's one for one here. And he's almost out of his Dynamax, and we're rocking out with some special attackers here. Did we go into the, what's it called? Here we go. Let's go back into the Rotom here. Let's go back into the Rotom here. Now this is stats reset, and we will be chilling. I think I'm just going to go into a life do. Ooh, we. Rotom V, Rotom here. This could be tough. We are special boosted here. I might just go set this drought. Are we going to roll here? Do we see us outspeeding? Or we can go for a follow me. We can go for a follow me or just a life do. Hmm. He's going to outspeed us. He's going to outspeed us. I think we're just going to go for a... Uh, we can just go into a max flare and set the drought. But no, he's going to outspeed us. We can go for a follow me. I want to go for a life do though. I want to go for a life do for sure. But do we think we're eating up here? He's going to outspeed. He has a tailwind. We can't, I don't want to swap it to my Gengar though. I wish I had an ally switch. <laughs> All right, we're just going to go into a dark pulse here. Onto him. And we're just going to go into a life do here. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go into Dark Pulse. Maybe we can get the flinch. Maybe we can outspeed. But we have this Assault Vest on us, which should be fine. Hydro Pump's going to come off here. I saw this coming. That's why I want to set the drought, but I knew he was outspeeding and drought wouldn't matter. Do we eat up? We do eat up here. Hopefully, he goes after my Fable. We are Assault Vested here. But we're going to get this Dark Pulse off on this boy right here. Do a little bit of damage. And then we're going to be able to Life Do. Life Do comes out here. We will heal up a little bit. And we're going to waste out these Dynamax turns here. We're going to waste out these Dynamax turns and be chilling. We're going to go heal up. Uh, we're playing this we're playing this rather slow, but pretty nicely. Pretty nice. What's he gonna go for? A max steel spike. Ooh, on my favorite. Ooh, don't even want to look. I don't want to look. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Okay, we do eat it. We do eat it here. 
We can go for a Volt Switch and get out that, what's it called? And get out my Gengar. But the defense is going to raise really big here. Really big here. Okay, okay. He has a Steel move. We know that's probably Iron Head. Uh, we can go for another Dark Pulse. We can Volt Switch out. Let's Volt Switch out here. Let's Volt Switch out on here. And we're just going to go into it yet another Life Dude. Because I want to try to set up with my, what's it called? With my boy. I want to try to set up with my, uh, what's it called? My Gengar, because if I can go into a follow me, get one nasty pot set up, we could potentially start running the rest of this game. So we're going to see here. We're going to see what we can do here. The Discharge, wow. Okay, it doesn't affect us. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, it doesn't affect him. Okay, we eat up. We eat up, though. I was going to say, who doesn't affect on my team? He gets to Paralyze here, and now that Mud Sail is probably going to outspeed me. We're going to Volt Switch out here. So, yeah, he do a decent amount of work, and we're going to be able to set up with this Gengar. We're going to be able to set up with this Gengar here. Let's see. Hopefully my what's it called, uh... Hopefully my... Actually, we might just go into a Gengar and just start boosting special attack through Max Oozes. Instead of trying to set up with a Nasty Plot. Body Press does not affect me, which is beautiful. Life Dude's gonna come out here. We're gonna heal up a little bit more. Do we go for that Nasty Plot right here? I say we do go for that Nasty Plot. I say we go into that Follow Me and we Nasty Plot up. Because we can potentially do some absolute work. Right, let's go Nasty Plot here. And then we're gonna go into a Follow Me. I was going to go into a Life Dude, but the Follow Me is a better choice here. And we can start tanking out these Pokemons. We are Air Balloon. We are Air Balloon. So he has to pop my Air Balloon before he can start doing some work. But we will be able to probably take out that, uh, Fave or, uh, that Mud Cell before anything. So I think we're sitting fine. I think we're sitting fine. We have that Assault Fest, uh, thing in the back. We have that Assault in the back. Doesn't affect him. He's going to go for a Discharge. We will eat up. We will eat up, which is fine. The follow me comes out here. Cursed body discharge was disabled, which is beautiful. Air balloon was popped though. Nasty plot's gonna come out here, and we gotta go after that mudsdale right off the bat. But he has to follow me. What's he gonna go for? He's going for is he rocking EQ? That'd be a tough move. Heavy slam's gonna come out here. He's gotta go on my what's it called? Michael Fable. Take him out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're fine. We have this road time here. We're gonna go into a Dynamax and start tee it off here. Tailwind does Peter out, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Road time's gonna pop out here. Like I said, we still have our Dynamax. We have this Gengar just chilling in the back. We have this Gengar with plus two, I think, special attack? Or is it plus one? Let me check. Let me check. Let's check Gengar. Plus two, baby. And we still have this Reflect. Oh, okay. From a little bit ago. But we're going to Dynamax here. Do we Max Ooze? We could Max Ooze and take out... Oh, it's not very effective. We're going to Max Ooze, boost our special attack, take out that Rotom, and we're going to go into a Dark Pulse over on this Mudsdale and maybe get a flinch. Like I said, we have that Reflect, but our Air Balloon did pop. Our air balloon did pop. We're going to get this boost special attack from this Max Ooze, which is fine. We will outspeed. We should outspeed both these Pokemon, considering they're not Tailwind anymore. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We have this Reflect set up for that Mudsdale, not for that, what's it called? Not for that Rotom. So I think my Gengar does outspeed that Rotom, which would be beautiful. And then we can take out that Rotom, so we don't have to worry about it. Let's see. Let's see. We do outspeed the Rotom. Rotom is done for here. Bye-bye, Rotom. We're going to boost our special attack once again here, which is awesome. We should be able to just start one tapping out. But the, the only problem is this Mudsdale. Is this Mudsdale right here. We're going to try to make it flinch here. Our special attack is raising. Rotom faints. We will outspeed him. It's that ground move that's going to that's gonna uh, mess me up. But Dark Pulse, come on. Show me the flinch or a decent amount of damage here. Like, no damage. Show me the flinch, though. His damage is going to go up. His defense is going to raise here, right? Yeah. Show me the flinch, though. Show me the flinch. Yes! We get that beautiful flinch on him. We get that beautiful flinch on him. So we got to double up on this Mudsdale, I think. I think we got to double up on, on this Mudsdale. Potentially go for that flinch again. Wow. So who's the guy? He has this Espeon here. Or just Sylveon. We could just take out that Sylveon. But I think we just gotta go after him. I think we just gotta go after this, what's it called? This Mudsdale. I think we just have to go after this Mudsdale here. We're gonna go for an overheat on it. Or do we go for the flinch? Oh my lord. This is tough. This is tough. Let's go for the overheat. Let's go for the overheat. Oh, just smack my control. It's okay. It's okay. We're chilling here. We're chilling here. Who's going to protect? Okay, Sylveon's going to protect. That's fine. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We are not going after you, Sylveon. We're not going after you, Sylveon. We're going after that Mudsdale. We want that Mudsdale out the way here. Do some nice damage to him. Come on, overheat. Overheat. Come up clutch here. That should lower his uh special defense, right? Lowers his special defense. Overheat has a chance of taking this Mudsdale out. That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. Come on, overheat. Come on, overheat. Let's go. Show it to me. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Show it to me. Let's go. Let's get it, dude. Let's get it. We are sitting very, very good here. We are sitting very well here. Dude, we play that out so good. And this is why Gengar is so strong. Gengar is an absolute beast. And that Assault Vest Rotom is beautiful. We can go into a Max Ooze here and basically just finish off this game. My Gengar should outspeed. And we will go into a Shadow Ball here. Just to 
you know, throw a Shadow Ball at him. Which one? I can see him leaving the match. I can see him canceling out. Let's see. The battle was canceled. Let's go, guys. That is how you play this team. We lost our Grimstar early, but we kind of made up for it with that Fable. Fable was kind of set up, and this Rotom helped out a ton to let that Gengar set up and do some work. Hopping into our next battle. This guy is rocking Draco Fish, Darmanitan, Kuber Knight. He has the Rotom. He's rocking the Rotom Fire Pizza Oven, dude. Whimsicott and that Snarl. I'm going to possibly leave my Snarl here. I'm going to leave my Snarl once again. We go in with the Lucario. Lucario could be dangerous here. But I'm just worried about that fish. I'm worried about fish here. That's one of the Pokemon I am worried about. But we're going to go into Lucario and our Snarl right off the bat. I can see him potentially leading that fish. It could be Focus Ash. It could be Focus Ash. And we could just set up on a Paralyze on him. So we're going to go Grimstar, Lucario, and then Fable and Gengar in the back once again. Because they do some work. Fish is also a good choice. But not really here. Not really here. He has his fish. So we're fine. We're fine. I think he's going to go Snarl, Whimsicott in the front. And we go for a uh, we can go for a Meteor Mash right on that Whimsicott. And potentially one tap it if it's not Focus Ash. And this Grimstar is probably going to set up like a Reflect, a Light Screen or something. And we're just going to T-Wave. Uh, well, if he goes with that Grimstar, we cannot paralyze it so we'll probably just set up a reflect or something i would like to set up a reflect because he has a lot of physical attackers on his team he has one special attacker which would be his uh which would be his boy the rotom but i'm not too worried about the rotom i'm not too worried about that rotom let's see who he leads is he gonna go whimsicott snarl is he gonna go with that whimsicott snarl combo let's see let's see he's gonna go with a draco fish whimsicott okay okay we're gonna paralyze that uh draco fish then we're gonna paralyze that draco fish he's shiny he is a shiny boy he is Fishish Ren, but he will not go first because we are Prankster. We have first move priority. So let's go into this uh, Paralyze and then straight into a Meteor Mash over on this Whimsicott and just punk on it. We're just going to punk on this Whimsicott. Not really too worried about the Whimsicott, but I kind of just want to get out of the way so it doesn't really set up too much. Who is he? What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Hopefully this Paralyze comes up huge on this fish. He's probably going for a Fishish Ren on my Lucario. I can see it happening. I can see that happening. But I wish I had my fish with me. I sh like I should like I knew he was bringing his fish, but if I would have brought my fish, I would have maxed and just killed it right there, and just ended off his fish. But the paralyzed could come up huge for us. Let's see how this happens. Well, Scott's gonna go for a moon blast on my Grimstar. Oh no, on my Lucario. Lucario eats that up, and we should be able to outspeed here. We should be able to outspeed that Draco fish. Let's see. Yeah, Meteor Mash comes out here, and we should be able to punk this thing up. Let's see. Do some nice work on it, and it is Focus Ash, which is fine. Which is fine. Focus Ash does pop out here. We're gonna see what happens here. We're gonna see what happens. He's gonna go for a fishish run. Who's going on? My Lucario. Can Lucario eat? Oh, dude. I thought he was going to survive on, like, one HP. That would have been huge. But we're going to be able to start setting up Reflex and everything. We're going to go into our Fable here. Fable Moon Blast is just going to tee off. Fable's Moon Blast is going to tee off here. And we're going to be able to go into a... Do we go into the Reflect? Or do we go into the Light Screen? Let's go into the Reflect here. And we're just going to go for a Moon Blast onto that Draco Fish. We're just going to go onto a Moon Blast onto that Draco Fish. Which is fine. Which is fine. Moon Blast on that Draco Fish. I, I, don't, I don't really see what he's doing. Hopefully he like withdraws that Whimsicott or something. I don't know. The Whimsicott is fast. I was going to go for a Electro. He's going to withdraw that Draco Fish, which is fine. And we're going to get a free Moon Blast on this Darmanitan. On this Darmanitan, which is fine. And we are setting up a Reflect, right? Are we setting up a Reflect, which is huge. Which is huge. We have Power Whip rocking out. Reflect's going to come out here. Yeah, yeet. And we're going to do a little bit of damage onto that, what's it called? That Darmanitan, who I can actually see him uh, Dynamaxing. That is who I think he's going to Dynamax here. But there we go. Nice damage here. Nice damage. Do we go into the Power Whip? Special Attack does fall. Or we do... Well, we can go into the Paralyze here. The, the T-Wave. I said we go into the T-Wave. Into the... What's it called? Into the Moon Blast. I said we go T-Wave into the Moon Blast. Let's see. T-Wave goes out. We are Prankster. Ability goes first. He did not Dynamax. I thought he was going to Dynamax here. But it's fine. But yeah. Why would he Dynamax? He's so low on health. But the Paralyze comes out here on that Darmanitan. Whimsicott's going to get off a Moon Blast on my Snarl. On my Snarl here. Snarl will eat up. But we should set up a light screen before we go out here. Darmanitan is paralyzed, cannot move. We'll be able to take out the, that Darmanitan right here, right now, which is beautiful. Which is awesome, dude. We're rocking out with this team right here. This team is awesome. I love it. It has a high learning curve. Like, I played it when I first started playing it on stream. Like, I lost, like, my first couple times. It was tough because I didn't really know how to play it. It's definitely a high learning curve team. But we're going to go out into here. Do we paralyze that Corvo? Let's paralyze that Cor Corvo here and go into a life dude. And then let's go into a life do here. Heal up my Grimstar just a little bit. And then we can set up the light screen afterwards. Let's go. T-waving up. Woo love it. I love this Grimstar setup, dude. With that light clay, we can set up a lot of screens and all that. But who is his last Pokemon? Let's go. Moonblast is going to come out here from the Whimsicott. Can we eat up? No, we do not eat up here. It's fine. It's fine. Life dude will do nothing. Life dude will do nothing. I should have known that that what's called was going to set up. 
I should have known that that Wimscott was going to set up, but the ooh, Paralyze cannot move. Now, Life Dude's here. Life Dude's here. We're chilling here. We are chilling. I'm liking where we're sitting. I am liking where we are sitting here. Know why? I'm not lying. Like, I really do like where we're sitting. We're going to go for a nasty plot. Follow me here. So, let's set up with the nasty plot with the Gengar, and we still have our Dyna here. So do they. So do they. So, we're going to go into a follow me here. I can see him potentially Dynamax in his uh, Quote Knight, but he didn't that first time. So... Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. No, he does not die. He's going to save his Dyna for his last Pokemon. Let's see what he does. He has a fish. He has a fish, but we're going to start. He's going to Encore who? You're going to Encore that follow me? Psh, I don't mind. I really don't mind that. He must do an Encore. We're going to set up this nasty plot, and we're going to start going into some max uses here. Start doing some work here. We're going to start doing some work. Follow me is going to come out here. Quote Knight is going to go for an Iron Defense. We are Special Attack. We're going to start teeing off on that thing. We're just going to go into a max ooze over on that Quote Knight. Start bringing his health down just a little bit. And the Tailwind does peter out. And we're awkward into a follow me, which is no big deal. Let's just go into a max ooze. Do we take out the Whim Whimsicott and boost our special attack? Or do we just go into like a... Uh... We're we going to do this. I'm not too worried about that Whimsicott. That's the thing. I'm not too worried about it. Let's just drop this thing special defense. Let's just drop the Corviknight special defense here. And then we can... Are we encored into that? Are we? Let's see. Yeah, we are encored into follow me which is fine which is fine you can follow me all day you follow me all that day that corner knight is paralyzed here comes our dynamax he has that fish at the end which we are chilling if i can just keep my fable alive we can just go into moon blast and just end that thing so we're sitting really pretty here with our special attack plus two here and we have max ooze which would boost our special attack once again but i kind of want to do some damage on that corner knight considering i'm not worried about that one scott one scott is just a setup pokemon it's not really gonna like take out any of these pokemon here let's go it has moon blast which like i'm not worried about who are you dynamaxing who how are you Dynamaxing? Your Corvo? Is this your last chance here? Is this your last chance? Your Paralyzed Corviknight? Your Paralyzed Corviknight is his last hope here. It's his last hope. So we have to follow me going here. My Gengar is going to be able to eat up. And it should be able to outspeed. Even I don't think they are Tailwind. I think the Tailwind peter out. So my, what's called? My Gengar should be able to outspeed here. Let's go. But follow me does come out here. We will eat up this Max Airstream from him. Unless he goes to a Max Knuckle. Maybe he's rocking a... Another move. Tailwind's going to come out from this Whimscott. I'm hoping we still be able to outspeed even with the Tailwind. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, show it to me. Gengar does outspeed that Corviknight, so all we got to do is eat up a shot from him. Let's see. Boop. Do some nice work on him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We are encored into another follow me, but his special defense will drop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you little biscuit. Rocket mirror armor here. Rocket mirror armor. I mean, he's going to go into the max airstream on my Club Fable. Come on, Fable. Eat that up, buddy. Eat that up, Fable. All day, buddy. All day. We're going to another follow me. We'll go into another follow me. He's going to boost his speed. It's fine. He might be able to outspeed us now. That's the problem. And what is he? What is he? Oh, he's rocking leftovers. He's rocking leftovers. He is paralyzed. Hopefully, one of these paralyzed can do some work. But we're going to go. We have to go into another follow me. Do we just take out the wins here? I said we keep that one's caught. Again, I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm just going to lower my special defense because he has the fish. And the fish is a physical attacker. So, um, Or do I boost my special attack here? No, I don't really want to give that fish a chance. We're just going to go here, and then we have to go... Can we like do or something? No. We are on court for one more turn here. So we're going to go into yet another follow me. He's probably going to go into a moon blast. He's going to max guard, which is... Uh, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Max guard's going to pop out here. Follow me's going to come over. I know I should have punked on that uh, Wimscott. That would have been awesome if I would have punked on that Wimscott. Just with a... With a... What's it called? We'll eat this up, no problem. We'll eat this up, no problem. But I wish I would have punked on that... Uh, Whimsicott with that max ooze. Just boost our special attack. Just like that. And then we could have been able to take this thing out. But we are going to go into a life dude. He's going to leftovers up one more turn here. This is close. This is really, really close. It's coming down to the wire. But we are definitely going to go into a... Uh, do we max ooze it and just boost our special attack? How long do we have that reflect up for? Let's see. How many more turns? Two turns. Okay. That's fine. Is that our special defense down? Yeah. Our special defense is down. We're going to go into a fight and into a... Uh, this is tough. This is tough. Let's just go into another Max Darkness here. Again, I'm not worried about that Wimscott. And then we're just going to go into a Life Dew here. What? How long are we Encored for? How long are we Encored for? That's a bogus, man. How long are we Encored for? I thought that was our three turns for that Encore. Let's see. We're going to go first with the Follow Me. But jeez, how many turns are we Encored for? I think our Club Fable's dead here. Let's see. Let's see how this rocks out here. So Moon Blast is going to come out here. I think our... Fable's dead, dude. How long is, does Encore last? Our Fable will go down here. But Max Darkness is going to pop off here. Okay, okay. Do some work. Take him out. Oh, my God. Come on. Show me that you're paralyzed. That would be awesome. 
Show me that you're paralyzed. Mirror arm's gonna pop out here. Drop our special defense. And I'm not too, too worried here. I think our Gengar can do some work. We have Sludge Wave. We have Sludge Wave, which will be after this. He's gonna take us out, and we should be able to... Maybe we'll outspeed here. Maybe we will outspeed. We can go Sludge Wave, take out both these Pokemon, and then it'll just be a 1v1 situation. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be really, really close. To be honest. And his fish is paralyzed. His fish is paralyzed. So he goes leftovers here. Our Sludge Wave, if we can outspeed... We'll be able to take out both of these guys. We we might be able to. It depends. It depends. Hopefully this tailwind might be able to peter out. But it might be going for another turn. This is close. This is rocking close here. Rocking really close. Sludge Wave's gonna pop off here. Actually, Sludge Wave doesn't affect that uh what's it called? Doesn't affect that Corviknight. So it'd be better for us to just take out that uh that Corvo. And then maybe go into Sludge Wave later. I'm just going to go into a Dark Pulse here. Take out this Corviknight. Because the Corviknight is what I'm more scared of. He's probably going into a Protect. Oh, I should have went for the Sludge Wave. I should have went for the Sludge Wave, man. No! Unless that thing, his Max Guard was a Roost. I should have went for that Sludge Wave. Well, I should have just went after that Whims. Let's see. What is he going to do? This is close, man. It's coming down to the wire. Come on, what you want? What you want, fool? I'm riding this one out. I'm riding this one out. I know you got the fish. He's paralyzed in the back. Whimsicott's and Corviknight is basically dead here. Oh, oh, dude, I wish my Sludge Wave would hit you. I wish my Sludge Wave would hit you. We would have doubled up on you. Moonblast's gonna pop out here. Can we outspeed that Corvo? Can we, how many? Oh, no, dude. I think that's game. That's close. Air Balloon popped. Corviknight's gonna use Brave Bird. Oh, no, dude. That's game. That's game, dude. Jeez, man. Okay, Corviknight's gonna go down here. <gasps> Dark Pulse goes off on this, uh... On the Whimsicott. Hold the phone. Hold the phone here. Game's not over yet. Game's not over yet. Hold the phone. Oh my god. Wait just a minute. I reflect word off. And a tailwind petered out. Yo, we should go first here. We should outspeed. We just have to we just have to tap him up here. We just have to end him. We just have to one-tap him here. Unless he has a first move priority move. We have a potential to tap up. Um, I'm gonna go for this Dark Pulse. Because Dark Pulse, we could potentially flinch. Let me see my stats here. Let me see my stats. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's get Dark Pulse. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Gengar, go first. Come on. Come on. Take him out or flinch him. Take him out or flinch him. Flinch him. Flinch him. Flinch him. Flinch him. No! <laughs> no, dude. What a game. What a game. Jeez, man. GG to this guy. That was actually a really, really good game. We could have had that win if one thing led to another. Or, like, we just did something a little bit different. But, dude, th that is how you roll out with that team. That team is actually really good. We just made one small mistake, and we ended up losing that match. Wow, guys. Those games were awesome. We did two good battles. We showed off the team in both battles. We got the win in the first one, but lost in the second one. We could have won that second one. Maybe if we made a few different plays and all that. But it's all good. Here's one last look at this team. If you would like to use this team, let me know. I could make a rental code for it. So if we get enough people saying it, I'll definitely do it. But this team was not built by me. Once again, I helped out a little bit, but it was mainly made by my boy, Nick Morale. I will leave all of his socials in the description below. Definitely go check him out. He's a great competitive team builder and a great competitive battler. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite Gen 1 Pokemon? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.